This presentation will introduce learning strategies using the eight intelligences. Main teaching points are the strategies of using eight intelligences in teaching, some of the best practices, roles of the educator, and pros and cons of this strategy. Intelligence has often been recognized as the ability to memorize words, calculate numbers, and use logical thinking. Unfortunately, this narrow view of measuring intelligence would label several students as being ignorant. For instance, actor, author, movie producer Henry the Fonz Winkler is dyslexic. Actor, scriptwriter, publisher, and producer Sylvester Stallone was born with a speech impediment and a poor student. Singer and actress Cher is both dyslexic and has dyscalculia. That means she has difficulty distinguishing both words and numbers. By IQ standards, these famous and very successful people would be considered ignorant. Fortunately, they are very intelligent in their own fields. Harvard psychology professor Howard Gardner defines intelligence as an intelligence is the ability to solve problems or to create products that are valued within one or more cultural settings. In 1983, Professor Gardner identified eight different intelligences in people, which are. Verbal linguistic, logical mathematical, visual spatial, bodily kinesthetic, musical, interpersonal, intrapersonal, and naturalistic. To involve students in learning, each type of intelligence can be stimulated with all or some of the following teaching strategies. For verbal linguistic, use storytelling, reading, journal writing. For logical mathematical. Use measuring, problem solving, and using money. For visual spatial, use graphing, photographing, painting, and building objects. For bodily kinesthetic, use physical education, field trips, and drama acting. For musical, use singing, rhyming, and musical instruments. For interpersonal, use group work, cross-age tutoring, and study groups. For intrapersonal. Use individual studying, reading, and personal goal setting. And for naturalistic, use rock collecting, reading outside, and naming plants. Pros and cons of teaching with eight intelligences. Pros: one, student is treated like an individual. Two, students are more motivated to learn with different tasks. And three, students feel more confidence using their own strong intelligences. Cons. It is impractical to teach to individual intelligences in large classes. In conclusion, using teaching strategies to stimulate the eight different intelligences will greatly assist developing each student's own unique abilities. In the end, it's not how smart you are, but how you are smart.